Dan Campbell is clearly a star uh, of that show. And clearly he's got the attention of the team. Clearly. That's an obvious one. That he's selling something that they're apparently... We saw it last year on the field where they never quit. Like, they they did play the type of football where they were biting people's kneecaps and coming for yeah. hunks and stuff like that. And and But he clearly is selling something that the team is purchasing. And and I know um, Adrian, uh, pardon me, Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson's singing was very entertaining. But that's chemistry, man. That's team building and... I I kind of dig what's the, what's being built, and I totally why, get that you're upset about you. that's Patricia. Why, that's exactly because they the Bronado is in town. The Bronado is here. Bron- He's taking us by storm. People are really drinking the blue Kool Aid. I'm just hoping that it translates into victories because after you get there and you say ten and seven ain't gonna get it, the ten and six ain't gonna get it, and then we kill for ten wins. Eleven wins. And they don't even have us at five and a half, six, I don't think. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping, like you said, chemistry means everything. And when they'll play for you, if they run through a wall, I'm hoping for it. I just hope that it translates, well, brother. But thanks. Rip, uncle, excuse me, uncle. <laughs> take, take care of yourself, sir. You be well, Jeffrey. Hey, pass rush means everything, too. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson's got that. He looks really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. That was a fun hard knocks. <clears throat> that was a fun one. Well, you know what they're all about there in Detroit, right, Rich? Which is? Grit. Gr- grit. <laughs> they're all about the grit. The are about grit. They are about grit. Their coach is about grit. It's on the board. We see it. I wonder if Dan Campbell regrets his um, no. introductory press conference. Nope. It kind, of, it kind of made him seem like he's more sizzle than steak and i think there's a lot of steak there man i think so too but the sizzle is a uh, part of his appeal a part of what uh, the kind of the team and the players on that team are kind of buying into with him they, they really need it they need a culture change no, and and he's kind of been that well i mean that's what rex was for the jets that's what he was for us yeah. and yeah you know, i'm out here to kiss his rings and all of that and then and we needed the, that got the two afc but, championship but the game. sizzle stopped sizzling after a while yeah, and but you won more. a lot of games with Rex. So. He did, no question. But then yeah, when he, you win playoff games, as you like to dude, tell he, we nearly made the Super Bowl two yeah. years in a row, yeah. and then so. and then it sizzled out. And yeah. It was gone. We were done. Hey, you were still there. Though. And then it's a quarterback-driven league, so we'll see what Jared Goff can do there. But I, I did, I do like what I see out of the Hard Knocks. I yeah, do we, like what I see. We talked last week, fun. like yeah, despite fun. some of the stuff he says that, like. You know, we're civilians. We're, <laughs> we're not savages. These men are savages. So the stuff that Campbell says where mm. people might be like, I don't get that. Like, whatever he's saying, you can tell. He's got grown men crying in the huddle. Like, they are buying into oh, yeah. what Dan Campbell. Well, you saw what they were, how they played last yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, and we, we loved them. You said, like, his initial press conference. But without that, Detroit wouldn't have been on our radar last mm-hmm. year. And we really paid attention to that team yeah. all season. And we yeah. knew that they were in every game. So... You know, it's it's who he is, and you can tell in Hard Knocks, and those guys love him. He had me, he had us ready to like, you know, knock the wall wall down. I know, yeah, 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 I know. He also said, "There's no light at the The end end of the the tunnel, (laughs) but if you do see a light, it's a freight train coming right at you." And we were like, "What?" I mean, he's not gonna he's not gonna sugarcoat it. (laughs) You think he's making that stuff up? You think as he's shaving in the mirror, he's just like, "I got a good one." I I got one. I don't think so. I I don't think so either. He's flying. He's he's flying because he was talking about drowning and the ocean, and he was talking about we're gonna tread water long enough to bury our opponent. Wait, so are we in the water or are we on the land? Like, which is it? Is that a like if we're at this long enough, and you know, I, I think you know, we will be. Television and radio, God's willing, right? Um, we should we should come up with an album, right? Where the latest song we 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 already had the uh, the one with uh, yeah. Nick Saban with the torn up jeans, right? Trace Atkins. Uh, how do how did we get here, right? Right. How did we get here? Where you had that soliloquy about people walking around with ripped up jeans, holes in them. How did just wondering sometimes how did we get here? <laughs> then uh, we had take your heart pills and buckle up. And buckle up. Thank you very much. That was that a friend of our, our, yeah. our friend of the program, Mike Vrabel, yep. if he doesn't mind us calling him that. Yep. Uh, now, maybe we've got a new song called, what is it? If the, the light at the end of the tunnel is 
there, there is no light at the end There's of the tunnel. No but, light at the end of the tunnel. But, but if you see one, if you see one, it's a freight train coming, coming right at you. Out. That sounds like a lyric right there. Sounds like a country song. I think he, again. Well, he was. I, I right? don't know if he was quoting Metallica or something, but he was is talking it? about is a that Metallica a lyric? song. Like, is that already a lyric? Uh, there was a lot going on on. When, see, it already sounds like a lyric. Is that already a, a lyric? There was a lot going on with his uh, hard knocks last week.